campers aren't safe, residents aren't safe, kids aren't safe. There was a frightening attack involving a chainsaw in Vancouver Strathcona Park on Sunday night. Katie Lewis lives in the area and she was doing chores around her house when neighbors called her to the scene. Like I just booked it out of the house and I just ran. And by the time I got over there, um, I learned more about what had gone on, which is like a man wielding a chainsaw tried to kill multiple people. So last night around 6 p.m., our officers responded to the area in the Strathcona neighborhood for multiple callers um, who called about a man who had a chainsaw and was threatening and chasing people with a chainsaw. This man was then witnessed to enter Strathcona Park. We, we ended up making an arrest. Um, witnesses couldn't positively identify the man as the man who had the chainsaw. So unfortunately, due to that lack of evidence, we had to release him. Police couldn't confirm if the suspect lived in Strathcona Park either. The investigation is ongoing and fortunately, no one was hurt. But it's also just another signal of the escalation that is going on with the Strathcona Park encampment. Lewis is a mother of twins and vice president of the Strathcona Residents Association. She spent about an hour talking with some witnesses. Apparently that one of the guys looked like this guy's drug dealer and they eventually jumped into a car that was parked on prior to stay safe. They don't live in Strathcona. Um, they were simply there. They were actually taking footage for a documentary. Recent data from Vancouver Police indicates weapons calls in Strathcona are up 50% over the last year, and calls to police about threatening behavior have gone up 14%. We've been seeing this over the past few weeks, an increase of calls to the park, increase of violence in the park. So it's concerning for us and especially those residents of the park and the surrounding neighborhood. People who live in the area are so frustrated with what's been going on in their community, they're holding a protest on Tuesday morning. It's called Strathcona Stands for Safe Homes for All. A chain of neighbors will stand along Prior Street on both sides from Gore Street to Glen Street. And it's not just neighbors being encouraged to protest. The people living in the tents in Strathcona Park are invited to attend as well. Like, this is an us versus them situation. This is a situation where we invite the camp to come out with us um, and, and we want them there um, and we hope they're there. What we're trying to do is hold the government to account. City News reached out to Vancouver Mayor Kennedy Stewart for comment, but he did not get back in time for broadcast. Lewis is also calling on NDP leader John Horgan to get involved too. And I, I sincerely hope that he takes this into consideration because this is an election issue and I will fight for it. My neighborhood deserves to be safe. In Vancouver, Kirjunos, City News.